FBI will further erode. However, as a nation, we must work together in seeking to regain the confidence level we once had in the FBI to achieve its vital mission of protecting the safety and welfare of its citizens at home and abroad. 9-11 marked a period of time my generation knows as war. This was the first time in a long time we were hit directly by external forces. You couldn't turn a channel without hearing terrorists, terrorism, suicide bombers, and Muslim. This was a holy war between nations and also mark a period of time which would later become a very prejudiced America. Stories of innocent Muslims being detained by the FBI, such as the Dhamma Ba, spread like wildfire. Certain races and cultures became nation enemies. Reading the Kite Runner in English class really gave me a sense of hope that maybe, just maybe, we could change as individuals. I felt like if we saw the other side of the story more often, we would be more compassionate towards each other as individuals, as human beings. The Kite Runner lets us realize that America was not the only country affected by the Taliban. Afghanistan had citizens, civilians, people living perfect normal lives, torn asunder by the Taliban. They suffered a hell, and we got caught up in between. The state of the nation told us they were the enemy. The state of the nation told us that we were supposed to be against them. The state of the nation told us that they were monsters. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And what was once beautiful to them could never be understood by us. Like the Kite Runner, the film Slumdog Millionaire gives us another example of the violence that happens in other countries regarding religion and terrorism. This was another movie that helped open the eyes to the American public that we weren't the only country targeted by this violence and many other countries were facing the same issues. I thought that with films like Some Dog Millionaire and books like The Kite Runner and stories of Adamaba, our views were finally changing and we were becoming less prejudiced. But I was wrong. Suddenly, this happened. <laughs> The Boston bombing became the most controversial attack on the American public since 9-11. Just as soon as it happened, the media was already making its decision. Who did it? What race were they? What religion? What were their intents? Their motives? Were they Muslim? Were they tied to Al-Qaeda? It was all sickening me. I didn't turn to the media right away because I knew that I would hear those words over again just as it was on September 11, 2001. I turned First to the cries of social media. I saw a girl tweet, please don't be Muslim. I'm begging you God. It was really hard for me to watch the news for a while. Because I was such a firm believer that we grew compassion, that I thought we were more understanding as a nation. I guess my views didn't change for the better, because I already thought that we were in the better. But we weren't. We'll still be that prejudiced country. Maybe it's not ignorance, but we always want someone to blame. We have to come to unify each other, because we all live on the same planet. We all share the same air, and it just takes one person. To change it all.